Anthony, you've, you've written a, that a Christmas sermon should have a, a base, a trunk, branches, lights, and a star, which sounds kind of like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? So our sermon should be like a Christmas tree. So um, explain that to us, unpack that to us, for us. Yeah, I think, I mean, really, that was just an idea for a structure. And I think it's, um, it all goes back, when I first became a Christian, we had a guy who was, um, a, a, they get up to preach sometimes. And to be honest with you, whatever he preached on, it seemed a bit like he was just pulling thoughts off some devotional calendar and reading them to us. And some of them were, you know, nice thoughts and helpful for us to ponder. But it was like, we had to do the work of making sense of what it was that he was saying. And hopefully occasionally you might come away and think, oh, you know, that was pretty interesting, but there wasn't any real structure. And I suppose as I've looked at and tried to, um, you know, model and learn from um, just communicators, not, not only preachers, but anybody who's communicating that there needs to be some form of a structure. One I've used before when I was kind of getting going on this was like, somebody said, it's like a, a train. And first of all, you have the light at the front that's flashing like those old steam trains. And then you have behind that, the engine, which is like the driving point, And that's hooked mm -hmm. to the some carriages, whether one, two, three, or how many. Then at the back, there's the bell that rings as like kind of, hey, don't forget. I, I remember for a while, thinking I need to put some more structure into my sermon. I read that great book by Andy Stanley, Communicating for Change, some years ago. And he talked about one, the way in which I've changed it now is like me, we, God, we, you. I kind of have that so much in my head now that I find it difficult not to preach in those ways. So it's like me, let me tell you something about me. So this is personal, this is connecting. We, we all have this problem. We all have this question. We all are going to go through this. God, the good news is, here's something God has to say. This is what God has done about this. We, imagine if everybody got hold of this hope. You, what are you going to do? Here's how. Here's a practical next step that I've got for you to be able to take this home with you today. So, I mean, the, the Christmas tree one was just an idea for me of having some form of a structure to say, you know, have a base, have a scripture that, you know, this isn't just some story. It's like, what's your scripture? Have a trunk. What's the main message? What are the branches? However many branches you've got coming off it. Decorate it with illustrations, but don't make them the point. And then at the end of it, do something that brings light, do something that brings hope, do something that actually draws people to Jesus and, and points everything to him.